So in this book right here, MJ DeMarco talked about the decisions he made to turn $5 into $5 million, and I will tell you exactly how he did it, and I'll give you all the hidden gems in this book so you know what to get from it. So I finished this book just last night, and as soon as I finished it, I knew I had to make a video about it. I always watch videos on the summaries of this book, and I thought I knew what it was about, but bro, wow, when I read it, it was a completely different experience. There's so many videos on YouTube which do summarize the lessons in this book, which are valuable. So I won't go through those ones. But no one talks about all the little hidden gems and messages that he has in this book. And that's truly what makes it so great and why I believe it's a must read. Every single chapter has something that's pretty eye-opening. And it goes beyond what the millionaire fast lane is. And I think that's what makes the book so great. It's the mindset that it basically instills in you. I'm someone that expects a lot from themselves and I have big dreams and big goals I want to accomplish. But I was kind of going through life like everyone else. When I think about it after reading this book, I'm kind of on that rat race for the nine to five. The one thing I did that a lot of people may not be doing is that I am doing work that feels fulfilling to me. But at the end of the day, my goal is to get a PhD. So I will still be working for the government or some university or college institute in some way, even though there are many ways I could kind of work as my own boss. I'm still going to be kind of reliant on other people. So all of these routes, including the one that I'm on currently, they put you on track of the slow lane or the sidewalk as described in this book and basically if you follow these routes you will be lucky to enjoy your wealth once you're in your 50s 60s 70s or even at all and that's depending on how financially responsible you decide to be now this book is perfect for anyone who feels a little bit lost in their life but they kind of have that lifestyle vision that they have from themselves this book is a must read for you, especially. I'm telling you right now, no YouTube video actually covers the valuable, valuable information in this book and does it the proper justice that it deserves. You can open up a random page in this book and you will find something extremely valuable. And, you know, I'll let you try to prove it to you right now as well. So in this page that I opened up, they're talking about the five fast lane business seedlings. It talks about different systems you can do and it ranks them by passivity and a higher grade means a greater potential for passivity but it's not necessarily the greater income and so they talked about rental systems as number one computer software systems as number two content systems number three distribution systems number four and human resource systems number five each one they kind of go into detail with on how to do it and why it's given the grade that it is. And this is me opening up to a completely random page in the book. And this page right here is talking about just some systems you can have to create proper passive income to put you on the fast lane. So now let's talk about the lessons in this book that really resonated with me and aren't really talked about as much, but they are extremely valuable. Every time you read books like this, while you go through it, the lessons feel very obvious. It's like, of course, like you're reading these things, it makes sense. And that's the beauty of this. What this book does really well instead is I think it changes your mindset on how you are currently on the slow lane and you want to be on the fast lane. The fast lane to achieve wealth very, very briefly and a quick overview of it is you have to become the product or you have to produce the product for people to consume. Leverage yourself so that you're not limited by time, such as working a nine to five. If you work a nine to five, there's only so many hours a day you can work to create money. But if you become the product or if you create the product, the wealth is technically unlimited. This sounds very obvious, right? I'm saying this and you're like, this isn't something mind blowing to you. But the thing is, very few people can do this and do do this. And you know this information and you still won't do it. I said this to you, it sounded very obvious, but here you are still, you're not implementing any of it, right? Even though you technically knew this information in your head. So I'll go through some of the mindset change messages in this book for you to actually do this. The first one that I want to go through with you is called Beware of the Wealth Inhibitors. So MJ DeMarco, in this topic, he talks about avoiding certain habits, which he calls wealth inhibitors. These include destructive behaviors like lack of discipline, poor health, overconsumption. And the exact wording he uses to talk about this and describe this is to avoid instant gratification. This means avoiding junk food, avoiding scrolling on your phone, 
avoiding watching meaningless content on YouTube videos, avoid drugs and alcohol and women, etc. Indulging in these things, it means you lack discipline. And without discipline, it's challenging to maintain focus. Discipline is required to resist these temptations or instant gratification that it might divert you from your path to wealth. This includes impulsive spending, procrastination, not sticking to business strategies. And this is important for two main reasons beyond the obvious ones that you may already know as it relates to your mental health or just mental well-being and mental things in general. And these are your health and overconsumption. Your health is your wealth, really, which is something you've probably heard before. Poor health not only racks up bigger medical bills and expenses, but also it hinders your ability to work effectively if you're constantly sick or feeling unwell, you won't put in the effort and time needed to build and maintain your wealth. MG DeMarco, he insists on taking care of one's health through regular exercise, regular diet, and irregular medical checkups. This is really valuable. Like I said, you probably knew this already, but it's so obvious, but it's something to really instill in your own life and you should take it more seriously than you already do. Overconsumption, on the other hand, from what I understood, it was excessive spending, overindulging in luxuries, or living beyond your means. It can quickly delete your resources and it keeps you stuck in a cycle of earning just to pay off your debts and your expenses. And it's crucial to learn and manage and control your consumption. You need to focus much more on your needs than your wants. And an example of this that MJ DeMarco gives us, you know when you buy a pack of gum, say you buy that pack of gum and then next day you lose your job or your income, or if you aren't making money right now, you aren't going to look back on this purchase of the pack of gum and regret it and be like, oh, I wish I didn't buy that pack of gum. You know, it's it's so minor in your life, you don't even think about it. That's how you know if you can actually afford something. And it's generally how you should go about your purchases. Your purchases should have a similar feeling or a lack thereof in this case. That's how you avoid overconsumption. Don't buy things that you have to think even a second about, or if you lose your job tomorrow, you'll regret buying. The next lesson is the importance of execution over your ideas. Ideas, they're worthless without your execution. This is obvious. But at the same time, there's so many people in the world, you probably included, that have a million dollar idea or an idea that will generate you a lot of wealth. But you and very few people, they actually execute them effectively. MJ DeMarco, he puts emphasis that the idea itself, no matter how great, is worthless without this proper execution. This principle challenges the common belief that all you need is one brilliant idea to become a millionaire. While having innovative ideas is important, it's the execution that turns it into a profitable reality. Say you have a groundbreaking idea for a new product, but if you don't have the skills or resources or drive to turn that idea into a product, then the idea remains exactly that just an idea. The real value lies in the ability to implement the idea effectively and create something of value. This also means that even an average idea with really good execution, it could yield better results than the brilliant idea with poor execution or no execution. And this is just because execution requires planning, development, marketing, sales, customer service, financial management. All of these factors together, they will determine the success of the idea. And MG DeMarco, he basically says that success is more likely to come from being an effective fast lane driver rather than just being the dreamer. This involves being an adaptive person, resourceful, resilient, and It'll come with various obstacles, but you need to know how to overcome these on your entrepreneurial journey. It's a reminder that your creativity is important, but the ability to act and deliver will ultimately determine the success that you reach. The third lesson, which is the most important one in my opinion, if you pay attention to any of these, pay attention to this one, and that is wealth is not actually about money, but it's about freedom. Money is a tool to gain that freedom, and that's what separates the fast lane entrepreneurs to the slow lane workers. So in this book, MG DeMarco, he explains the primary goal of wealth to not accumulate material things, but rather obtain this freedom. And this is how he breaks this down. There's time freedom, which is the freedom to use your time as you wish. If you're wealthy, you don't need to trade your time for money in a traditional job. Instead, you have the liberty to choose how you spend your time 
whether that's on your hobbies, on travel, on family, on other business ventures, whatever. The next piece of freedom he talks about is financial freedom. This means having enough wealth to live your desired lifestyle without worrying about money. You have the resources to weather the emergencies, you take advantage of opportunities, and you provide for yourself and others, maybe your family and friends without any stress. And finally, the freedom of purpose. When you're not tied to a job for survival, you have the opportunity to pursue what really matters to you. This could be your passion project, could be a cause that you really care about, it could be a dream you always had, and wealth enables you to align your life with your values and your purpose. So basically, MJ DeMarco, he has a deeper view of wealth. It's a valuable lesson for those that seeks a life that's both prosperous and fulfilling. Now, the final lesson that we will go through here is that education should never stop. There's so many people, maybe even you included, high school or university, college is done, and you're like, okay, I'm done now. And if that's you and that's your mindset, bro, shut up. You have to listen to this next point because learning doesn't stop when you leave school. MJ DeMarco in his book, he talks about self-education and learning from experience as key components to success in the fast lane. He basically mentions how successful entrepreneurs, they engage in continuous learning throughout their lives. And this type of education, it falls in a few categories. So the first one is self-education. Learning shouldn't be confined to just formal education institutes. The world around us is changing constantly and it's important to keep up with these changes. So this could involve reading books, taking online courses, attending workshops, or just simply staying up to date with news and trends in your own industry. Self-education should equip you with new skills and knowledge that is critical to your success. The next type of education is learning from your experiences. So he emphasizes the value of experimental learning. You can learn valuable lessons when you put theory into practice and you learn from the results. And this is particularly relevant to entrepreneurship where real world experiences, it usually provides more practical knowledge than the academic study itself. Next is learning from others. This could include mentorships, it could include networking, it could include learning from successes and failures of other entrepreneurs. It provides valuable insights that can help you navigate your own entrepreneurial journey. And finally, adaptive learning. The world is changing so quickly and so rapidly. So the ability to unlearn outdated concepts and learn new concepts is very critical. You need to always be open-minded and adaptable in your learning. So it can help you stay ahead in your businesses and just your personal growth. So I really like how MG DeMarco in this book he underscores that education is not just a one-time event, but it's a lifelong process. In the context of the fast-paced and constantly evolving world that we live in, especially of business and entrepreneurship, the ability to continuously learn and adapt is a very key factor in achieving and then maintaining your success. So I hope that this discussion enlightened you on hidden gems found within the millionaire fast lane. While MG DeMarco's own journey of turning $5 into $5 million is very captivating, the true value of this book, it lies in the mindset shift that it triggers and the principle it instills and the path of freedom it eventually will illuminate for you. No matter what your current goal is, embracing these lessons, it can lead to a profound personal and financial transformation. And remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The book is a treasure trove of wisdom that can challenge your perspectives and redefine your understanding of wealth. So if you found these insights valuable, I really, really encourage you to dive into the millionaire fast lane just for yourself. We shouldn't just merely learn, but actually apply these lessons in our lives. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep learning, keep growing, keep moving on your own path to the fast lane. I love you all.